car is king in Weatherfield. Well, and there won't be as much traffic tonight. How can you have a party when you're busy dodging hatchbacks all night? Don't worry, I've got a plan. All underhand. Don't you mean in hand? Do I? Well, I feel it's like a big black cloud hanging over us. Oh, come on, Betty. It's the 20th century you're talking about. I've seen more of it than you. Yeah, nearly all of it, I'd imagine. Hey, steady on. It's the biggest night of the year. It's a night that happens once every thousand years. Mm. And what are we doing? Same as we do every other night, serving beer. <laughs> oh, morning, troops. Morning. I, uh, I think we're feeling a bit sorry for ourselves. Are you? Well, paint on a smile and think of the money. Something that keeps me going. I'll get it. Here's one for you, Betty. Oh, then, well. Greatest singer of the millennium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Post your turn. Um... Jess, I've already told you I can't. No! And look, don't call here again, OK? Try again. Elvis Presley. I'm trying to read my paper here. No, think more action. Michael Owen. No. Well, am I getting close? Not really. <sighs> hey, do you know, if you uh, had a set of muscles and a six-pack on, you'd look a bit like Michael Owen. Do you think? Nah, maybe not. Hey, yeah, uh, give us a clue. Right, think more <coughs> out of this world. Superman? No. E.T. No, he's not from another planet. He's from this planet. Well, I think you're from another planet. Tyrone, are you busy this afternoon? No, not really. Right, I'll pick you up in here at lunchtime, OK? Why, where are we going? You'll see. I thought he was sorting out the traffic situation. Maybe that's where he's gone. Oh, I don't know. I've got so many things to think about. It's like my brain's completely full up and there's no room for anything else. Roy, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Thing is, something crucially important could just get pushed out with something else coming in, and then it could be lost forever. Ah! What? The awning. That should have been delivered yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Better go and ring the brewery. <laughs> uh, could I... Uh, you mind? Sorry, it's Tempence. Thank oh. you. Sorry for your oh. trouble. <laughs> Well, can't you have a word with him? I owe him money and he'll get it. Look, Jez isn't the kind of person who uh, likes people interfering with his business. Yeah, well, I thought we were supposed to be mates, and now he's getting all heavy on me. He's up back all the time. Yeah, well, that's what he does when people owe him money. Right. We've got brown lentils, we've got red lentils, and we've got green lentils. Hey! Where's my bait and butter? Oh, he's coming. Hey, I'll tell you what, Les, why don't you swap your bacon batty for some of our spicy nut roast? Well, you know what they say, Spider-Man, you are what you eat. So you'll not catch me eating no nut roast. No, you prefer to eat pig. Too true. Stick us a couple of sausages in, will you? I'm starving. Is there a copper in here? I've got his awning outside. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's me. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Frog marched out like a criminal. I don't know how they knew he was here. If you just told me the truth in the beginning. Oh, Audrey. When am I going to get another chance like that, Alma? Come on, there's life in you yet. <laughs> Who are you kidding? We are women past our prime. We're over the hill and halfway down the other side. Oh, don't talk like that. Besides, anyway, it's not true. Yes, of course it's true. A bit of slap and a smile doesn't hide what you feel inside. He only wanted to marry you because you were a passport to him staying in this country. Alma, I'm not a fool. I know what he wanted. But he chose me, didn't he, eh? He could have picked anyone. Oh, Audrey. All I want is a good, honest man to look after me. <laughs> oh, don't we all? A man like Alpha. Oh, do you know, Alpha the perfect husband for me. I shouldn't even be thinking about other men today. Today of all days, eh? <laughs> yeah, apparently he's lost the instruction manual. <laughs> 
It'd probably be Chinese anyway. Yeah, it might have had one or two diagrams. Jim, Jim, can I have a word? Aye, certainly. Hey, see Leanne. She's not in the pub? No, just right. Uh, Jess, Leanne's a mate, and uh, she says she's been leaning on her about this. Uh, does she owe you money? Well, no. Well, do you owe me money? No, but honestly... Would any hardly think it's any of your business, then, do you? Yeah, but lack like, Look, Leanne's a mate. It's cool. She just owes me a few quid, that's all. No, she's good for it. Go oh, easy. You nearly had me over, then. Sorry, mate. For the kids. Oh, yeah. They're at Rachel's. We're having a bit of a school do. We'll be back about half past three. Right, I'll, uh, pick them up in time for the tea, then. You all right, Cam? Yeah, I'm fine. Here, come here. We need a couple of volunteers to give us a hand over there, eh? I will do it. Uh, I've got someone to do. Oh, come on, Kev, behave yourself. It'll only take a couple of minutes. Come on, you. Come on. Oi, hurry up. Take her for a fancy meal, box of chocks, bunch of roses, and everything will be blooming in the garden of love. Not as easy as that. She's gone. Can't go where? Well, I don't know. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Well, no offence, but this is becoming a bit of an habit with you, isn't it? You go through women faster than I go through pies. Yeah, all right, all right. Have you got a replacement lined up? No. A younger model, one with go faster stripes than that. I know what it might have looked like, but it was never like that with Linda. Of course not. And I best change the subject. Yes, yes, please, yeah. Seen Alma lately? Sorry. Oh, it's nice to see you've given Mrs Walker, you know, pride of place. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's great, is that? All faces of people that lived here before, were Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, a bit younger there. <laughs> <laughs> and who's that? That? That's Elsie Tanner. She looks like she's old place. What happened to her? Oh, long story, lovey. Yeah, they were all long stories. Um, and who's that? That's my first wife, Val. She died in an accident. Oh, I'm sorry, Ken, I didn't realise. Well, I expect a lot of these people wouldn't know the street if they could see it now. Mm. Oh, I don't know, you know. I'm look around. I'm not sure this place has changed all that much at all. Don't know why she has to come in here. It's a free country. Leave her be. Oh, right. That's why she's here. I've been looking for you all morning. Got some good news. Oh, yeah? I've set up a deal that's going to make us both big winners. I'm listening. It should be a big night in your pub tonight. So? So, big night, big takings. Yeah? And all you have to do is accidentally leave the door unlocked and you go and close up tonight. You what? Look, everybody's going to be plastered. Nobody's going to notice. You go to bed, you sleep like a baby. Next morning, you wake up. Oh, there's been a robbery. Last night's takings have gone. You think I'm going to let you rip off the Rovers? No. No way. I live there, remember? So? Look, the place is insured. Nobody's going to lose out. Leanne, you owe me. Yeah, I know, and I'll pay you. When? The clock's ticking. This way, everything's nice and easy, and we're both sorted. Are you deaf? I said no. Please! Take it, just leave it, will you? I need fangs. Jacker has fangs. I'll look stupid without them. Right, I'll go back into town and I'll get you some fangs. Martin! Well, it's pointless trying to spoil his millennium just for the sake of a pair of pointy teeth. Can I come? No, I'll be quicker on my own. OK, you just stay with your mother. I'll be back when I can. Right, come on, hurry up, Stephen. Tie it off at the top. But wait, I'm going as fast don't as I can. Tie it off, you're not. Can you pull it tighter? Oh. I don't want it sagging in the middle. Wait a minute. No, oh, I minute. feel I must congratulate you on your organisational skills, Roy. It's so nice to see the community pulling together. <laughs> no, it tie tighter. Through the back. I'm doing through the back. As tight as I can. Will you listen to me? Just pull it through I'm the back. They mean to have a word. I wanted to apologise about Christmas and that. Taking the girls away without checking with you first. I was out of order. It's just too much It's a bit new to me, this, you know. I think about kids and that, and ex-husbands. Yeah. I really care about Sally, you know. Yeah, I know. And the kids and all. 
I'm not trying to be the dad or anything. I should hope not. I'm trying to see it from your point of view. And I'm going to kids of my own, but I can see how they change the priorities. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And the girls, I mean, they're going to need their dad around. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry. I'm going to be around. Well, just so as you know, I understand. I'm sure if I did have kids of my own, I'd do anything I could to keep them close, no matter what between me and the man. You know something? You're right. Kevin, where are you going? Don't walk away, I've not finished. Yes, you are. I'm not asking, I'm telling you. You think you owe money? Well, I've got debts too, but the geezer's what I owe make me look like Father Christmas. So you do this, you get us both off the hook. Oh, yeah, and a word to the wise. Don't go blabbing to Steve MacDonald. He can't help you now. I'm the only one who can help you. You got it? since I've been in one of these nurses' flats. Look, Martin, if this is about Wednesday... Look, there's no need to keep avoiding me, you I know. wasn't avoiding you. All right, I was. Why? We were really good friends. That was before. Yeah. And I thought we wanted to put Christmas behind us. Get back to where we were before. I'd like to try. Yeah. Me too. So why don't you open this, then? And we'll drink to the future. Or, if you like, uh, Just call it house warming, shall we? Yeah. Why not? OK. Job, even though I say so myself, Roy. No, no, it's fairly good. At least we'll be dry now Give if it rains. Certainly will. I'll do better than that, son. I'll give you two. What, what, what's all this then? Bollards. Yeah, fresh grown bollards to be exact, or cones if you prefer. We keep them for marking out areas in the car park. Uh, and fresh girls have agreed to lend them to us? Well, uh, not exactly, no, but we'll get them back before they miss them. Are you telling me these bollards are stolen? Not stolen, borrowed. The band's stolen. He's joking. Oh, well, it's, it's the last millennium party I'm getting involved in. Tea, anyone? Oh, lovely. Thank you. Emily, you're a lifesaver. Oh. <laughs> What's all this? Oh, the Weatherfield stocks are infamous. Many a miscreant got a dose of public humiliation in those. <laughs> Courtesy of the Weatherfield Historical Society. 50p for free wet sponges. Do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, you stick your head in there. I'll throw sponges at you. <laughs> I know someone I'd like to put in there. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, OK. Thanks, Steve! I'm <laughs> just over there. All right. It's you run and drink again, is it? Cash and carry. I've got receipts. Oh, indeed. You plan to have your night, then, are you? I'm planning a raffle. Quid a ticket. A quid a ticket, eh? Is that right? Yeah, it's for a good cause. No, I, indeed. Steve McDonald Benevolent Fund. Uh, Friends of Weatherfield Hospital. Oh. oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll just check with Emily. Later. Yeah. You have little faith. Oh, shut up. Hey, shut up! Come on! Just oh, get out I'm there. getting out of the door! Not. Just watch what you're doing! Why? I am not carry it anywhere. I'm sorry, sir. We can't have the kids tonight. Kevin! Look, so much come up. I'll play fair, because it's not just us. The girls will be disappointed. No. Yeah, I know. I'm going to see Alison. Alison? Yeah, I found her. By Morka. I'm going to bring her home. Oh, why didn't you say something? It don't matter. You go, we'll look after the kids. You'll explain to the girls, won't you? Yeah, of course we will. Hey, best of luck. Thanks. Right. 
of the future. Ugh. What future? Oh, come on, it's not that bad. You've got your own pad, new millennium, new start. Well, the world might end at midnight. No, it won't. They said there could be pandemonium out there, but they'll still need nurses. That's true. Mm -hmm. That'll be Lynn, run out of coffee again. Jerry. I'm not here for another slanging match. I just want to talk. I see. So this is why you moved out? No. Very convenient. Oh, it's not like that. How long has this been going on? Nothing's going on. I've a right to know. Calm down, will you? But you've got the wrong end of the stick, OK? You are still my wife. Even if you are jacking me in for lover boy. Uh, no, actually. She's jacking you in because you're such a prat. You what? You heard. Look, this has got nothing to do with me, OK? But, well, she's only here because of the way you treated her. What have you told him? Started bad-mouthing me already, have you? Please go. You'll see what she's like. She's a lying tart. You can't trust yes, her. Yes, and she's asked you to go. I'll go when I'm ready. You'll Please go don't. Now, OK? You can't keep me away from my wife. Out! Now! This isn't over yet. You're my wife. You don't get rid of me that easy. Uh, just so you know, I've had a word with Jess, and it's cool. He knows you're a mate, and he's not going to get the concrete overcoat out over a few quid. Well, that's my good deed for the day. I'm off. He's going to have an heart attack when he sees us strutting out with stuff. <laughs> hey, I think I will as well with all those people watching us. How long have we got to go? Oh, there's ages yet. Have you seen Serge? Only heard that band in kitchen who's always helping out in your life. His mate balls are talking about. Yeah, well, in that case, his shipmate should be well juffed. What? He has returned to his one true mistress, the cruel sea. Well, have he's enjoyed his holiday. I tell you the truth, I didn't think you were looking forward to going back. You're right there, I say, you're right there. I had to tell the authorities to come and drag him away. You did what? Oh, don't give me that, Luke. I had to. We were all over on it like a rash. It's our duty to protect the ones we care about. If you were Maxine were in danger, you'd sell your soul to Sabre, wouldn't you? I suppose Well, not. then. Well, I didn't have a chance to say goodbye. You're too soft, you are. I say, you're too soft. That Sergey. We're praying on a defenceless widow. If Audrey knew what I'd done, she'd thank me. Not that I want to blow my own trumpet, you understand? Mm. Do you know, this time last year, half we were moaning on about a silk tie I bought him for Christmas. I said it were too flash for him. <gasps> now, I remember, I thought, well, we're going to miss New Year altogether unless he gets a move on. <sighs> Little did I know that that would be our last year. Well, if anybody had said to me 12 months ago that I'd be divorced from Mike and he'd be living with one of the factory girls, I'd have laughed in their face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know we're a right pair? Mm. <gasps> well, let's hope that the new year is better for us than the last one. Because yeah. I don't certainly want one like the last one. Well, I'll drink to that. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm going to have a really good time tonight. I am. For Alpha. Well. He was Mr. Millennium. Yes, he was. I mean, he was never one for parties himself, but... Well, he used to like to see me having a good time, you know, letting my hair down. Well, if he's looking down on us... ..tonight's for our fate. Yeah. <laughs> Alma? Mum? You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah OK. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Uh, we'll, we'll finish this first, love, in a minute. <laughs> To Alpha. To Alpha. That's Ernest. He took most of these photographs. Who's that funny looking bloke there? <laughs> That's Uncle Albert. You look a bit like him, actually. No way, he's a wrinkled old man. Oh, no, 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 there's definitely a resemblance. Well, I suppose Tyrone couldn't have Tatlock blood in him. Well, you knew Uncle Albert, he was very popular with the ladies. You kidding me, right? <laughs> no, right? Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. 
Don't ask. Town was madness. I don't know. Is there something special going on? <laughs> tonight? Did you get those flaming fans? Yeah, yes. Go me here. Well, at least that's one story with a happy end. <laughs> yeah. So, same again. Oh, yes, please. Oh, you it's really sure. Oh, big night. Well, I hope so, otherwise I won't be able to pay your wages. <laughs> I don't love much time ourselves once it gets home. Reckon so, so if you've got something to say, say it. Well, not, but you know me, no good with words. <laughs> Try. I don't know. I mean, I suppose the gist of it is, I'm happy. Good. Mm. Sounds pathetic, but I just want to tell you how I feel about us. Well, there's no need, is there? I mean, I think we should just enjoy getting to know one another. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't see why we should rush into anything, do you? I mean, it's early days. Early days. Janice. Yeah. What if someone sees you? I've told you. I'm not doing it myself, am I? Well, then who is? Look, the less you know, the better. Just tell me, where does she keep the money? Um, Leanne, we could actually do with a hand when you've got a minute. Yeah, what be you saying? Money. If I do this, then my quits, right? That's a deal. In, in the back room, at the bottom of the sideboard. Good girl. Now, don't you let me down, now. You do this and nobody gets hurt, OK? Oh, I nearly forgot. Happy New Year. <laughs>